vlog today I'm going to show you how to make half tone brush so you can make a lot of results uh, like you can make um, ellipse uh, rectangles any kind of shapes you want this is the first result this is the second result and uh, that could uh, go on forever so yeah to get started file new and make your image very big for example 1000 by 1000 uh, or something like that and now choose the black color uh, shapes tool or brush tool uh, if you want you can do shapes or just take your brush and paint it around so I will choose shape I will choose ellipse you can choose anything and important part is to take draw the shape and um, do your thing like so uh, but if you paint or if you draw a shape uh, you can uh, you need to have some white space uh, around your shape like I did this in, uh, in this result uh, because we will blur it and uh, we will need that space go to effects blurs Gaussian blur and choose big radius not too much or you want or you will lose your shape or whatever uh, but it may also can give you different looks on that uh, so just feel free to experiment with this so make sure it doesn't do something fancy on the sides on the edges and if you have uh, got a pretty nice result like you have uh, like I have a ellipse shape with very big trans transition between black and white colors so I can just go to effects tools uh, stylize uh, half tone and from that point choose any settings you want so settings may depend on the image size on the shape on the blur size or, or radius I mean uh, and on your taste whatever you want to get um. Uh, you will have quality uh, set on two so after changing all these settings uh, change qu quality to five and uh, it will make better quality click OK and to make this a brush you need to delete white space white background thing so choose magic one tool and uh, set fluid mode on global or hold left shift uh, while clicking and click also you can adjust tolerance uh, like increase it a lot and hit delete on your keyboard now uh, go to file save and save your image as PNG file so it, you won't lose transparency uh, now to use this brush you need to have plugin which uses brushes uh, so I know uh, the effects uh, tools custom brushes mini uh, I think that's best or the only one which uh, can do brushes thing so just get this plugin and you will be able to use brushes and uh, let's start it and it will open new window in which you can change some settings and you have got your brushes also there's a button which says add brush so click on it and import your brush now at the side uh, you can find your brush uh, change it to big size or whatever and just click Yeah. And if you want you can cho uh, use feather on the edges so it won't uh, do white thing like uh, wrong brush <laughs> um, this one maybe yeah that's my so yeah that's it uh, hopefully you will make something cool 
I would like to see the results and pin at that group. The link will be in the description below. And I see you next Monday. Bye.